New at 10 o'clock tonight, Starville Methodist Church members gathering this day for the first time since a gunman shot and killed her pastor on Sunday morning. 62-year-old Mark McWilliams right there died. His wife and another member of the church also hurt during that shooting. KETK's Frank Jefferson shows us why in a moment of overwhelming grief, the pastor's wife is choosing to pray for her husband's killer. It was the first service for Starville Methodist Church since that tragic day. Beloved pastor Mark McWilliams gunned down inside the same building where he devoted his life to serving others. The pews were packed with people ready to pray, comfort, and show their support. No one was given more love and compassion than Rosemary McWilliams. This is my first day that I can actually function. Two days after losing her husband, she stood behind the pulpit and proclaimed what many would consider unimaginable. I pray for my trans woman. Father, we ask God that you would put in our hearts the ability to forgive. Her words seemed to touch the hearts of every person in the sanctuary. Most of the people who attended the event today, they knew Pastor McWilliams, but some people, they didn't know him at all. And they came from all parts of Texas. Congregations from Starville CME Church, Crossband Cowboy Church, and others all came to honor the late pastor. One of those people was Vint Hargrave from Fort Worth, who says he's transforming the pain of losing his son John into healing for the Starville community. Through that grief, I've been able to go to people and let them know that God will, God does protect and that these things happen and we don't understand it all, but we know that he's there. Mick Williams says God was the biggest part of her husband's life and that in his final moments, he embodied the scripture, John 15, 13. Greater love has no man than this that a man laid down his life for his friends. A man whose love was so powerful that he made the ultimate sacrifice. Jefferson, KETK News.